Oh, that was a really nice spot to sleep here. Really magic. Look at that. Like being a white boy himself, eh? And maybe more like a wolf, maybe. And out of the reins of Pharaoh. There he is, eh? Actually, a friend's bloke, he took me hitchhiking and he said uh, 5G is actually, it, it's much better because, uh, and he was working with that stuff. I was too tired, so I didn't record him. And um, he said it doesn't even pass a uh, concrete wall. In France, he said, so stop uh, le, le radiation uh, net par, une, uh, par un mur en, en béton. So this is why everybody gets one of these boxes and these ones probably gonna disappear or more. They're not gonna use them that much anymore. Oh. But well, okay, that doesn't count for the under underwater 5G killing all the dolphins, hey? Yeah. See ya. Fuck tube. C'est bon. Dites-moi. Ah. Donc. J'étais responsable de l'unité de production. Non, en uh, anglais. Uh, sorry. Uh, I was responsible and manager of uh, the production center of our brand. Uh, Excusez-moi, une seconde. Uh, Battery cells. No, uh, fuel cells in uh, Cologne, ports. It was uh, located uh, Peter Schmidt Straße, and uh, then after uh, the group was in bankruptcy, bankruptcy, uh, I did manage to give this local production center in uh, bankruptcy just uh, three days before, and uh, then uh, the industry minister of uh, Rheinland Westfalen Rhein, Rheinland Westfalen yeah uh, located in uh, Düsseldorf told me it would be good if we were able to carry on local production and uh, then I did contact uh, the several banks we were dealing with including Rothschild bank in uh, in uh, Dusseldorf and uh, then when I called them they just told me Mr. Rivoire Rothschild does not want to hear from fuel cells anymore and he stopped the conversation they just hang up the phone eh? yeah wow. he just hung it like that and can you explain us why why they didn't want to hear anymore? Well, according to me, it's just because it was a true threat to oil industry. Absolutely. Directly. I myself uh, had the pleasure to drive the first uh, London taxi, which was powered by uh, one of our fuel cells. Huh. And three times I went around just in front of uh, Buckingham Palace. Yeah. And, and this is a, an energy type which has no pollution, right? It has no pollution, yeah. and because what? we just burn, if we can call it like that, water. And what was the name of the minister of uh, West, uh, Rheinland-Westfalen? I, I because I, I remember uh, there was also uh, the minister of Rheinland-Westfalen, they sued Switzerland because of tax evasion. So I wonder if it was the same one. I'm unable to, okay. to tell. I'm sorry for yeah, yeah. that, but I yeah. do have this short-term memory uh, problem. Because of your accident. Yeah. And, so, uh, this... what is your name? Claude yeah. Rivoire. Okay. Can I put your email under the film? Do you want to, people to contact you? Americans? Uh, I can try. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't promise I shall be able to answer every, every mail. Yeah. That's quite clear. Uh, because I'm not that good anymore with the computers and uh, things like that. Even my my phone uh, is a problem to me. 
Yeah. And just today, I made a mistake with my GPS. It doesn't work anymore. Mm. So I don't know exactly what. Okay, th sir, thank you very much. It's an incredible testimony. And um, this is not a coincidence that we're meeting here just on a, on a, on a, on a well, parking lot here where I'm, where I'm hitchhiking. Somehow. So I've been talking here to this guy and there were a lot of cars. Now there's nobody anymore. I'm probably stuck here. <laughs> so, well. Okay, thank you. Welcome, and I am on my way back to uh, Czechoslovakia because I went after that, I went to Czechoslovakia to deal with trials of uh, uh, fuel cells yeah. and uh, they went bankruptcy as well. Thank you. And I don't feel I'm the one who made them go bankruptcy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, people, I'm here on the motorway here, and you see this logo here. There are four things here. I don't know what it represents, actually, but there are four, and there's one apart. So, it's the concept of three, and there is the concept of four, you see? So, this logo here, it says square and compass. Everything belongs to them, and we are their slaves. Now, look, guys. He got the red house and the white house. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Uh, you see, it's a white house. It's a house, eh? It's definitely a house. The white house and the red house. And you see, the white house are the ones who are ruling now, so they're in front. And the ones in the background is the red house, where they all come from, the old world's order. That's why they put it like that, eh? And the, the, the first one, it, it's on, on its legs. It means they're the ones ruling now. The other one is not on its legs. I, uh, they're, they're really perfectionists. They think about everything. Now here we got the red house and the white house. The new world order, the white house. The horizontal rule of Pharaoh. There you go. I, it's a French lorry. Okay, people, this is another nice one here. You see, the whole thing is like in a circle. And the circle is the compass, the concept of three. And the four squares is a concept of four, right? It is four, and the square is also the concept of four. And you got this funny thing here. And then there's this line to the right here, like in a swastika. But anyway, it says a circle, and it says the concept of three and four. There you go. It's all there. And all the people who are initiated, they understand it perfectly well. So these are Spaniards. And another huge petrol station, just south of Lyon. Oh, I'm knackered, eh? Going to sleep. Beautiful sky. <laughs> this is what happens when you look up. <laughs> When you look up to the left, you look up to the right, uh, you go down. 